We're often discussing plant room equipment, so today we thought we'd run through with you the various positions of the equipment in the plant room. And we start off with the filter pump from the pool or the spa, which has a strainer basket at the front to catch the worst of the debris. After the pump we come on to a multi-cyclone, which is good for picking up all the other large suspended solids in the water. When this one starts to fill up it's clear you can see it very easily and you simply drain it off using the valve on the side. By using a multi-cyclone it stops a lot of the rubbish getting into the sand filter. So after the multi-cyclone and before the sand filter we have a chemical sampling point which comes up to our automatic system. The water then goes into the multi-port valve and into the sand filter. The sand filter has a pressure gauge on the top and you can see when it's starting to get clogged up and needs backwashing. Once it leaves the sand filter it will come into normally a heater or a heat exchanger which will be positioned anywhere in that sort of region. We then come on to the chemical dosing points which as you can see we've positioned a distance apart to allow the chemicals chance to mix with the water before they meet the next chemical. In front of the chemical dosing points we have our day tank and a bund tank which it would normally be two of. The water then returns to the pool or the spa. Our sampling water after it's gone through the sample cell for the automatic system is also returned to either a waste or a balance tank. If the pool or the spa are too small and you don't want to do this you can put it back into the return line at the furthest point. What you must avoid at any time is any pressure within this flow cell as it will damage the probes. This is a basic layout for a plant room. They all vary because plant rooms are different sizes and if you need any further help with positions of the equipment please don't hesitate to contact us.